we do to your trusting son. Welcome to the United States. After having attended the 25th annual EU PV SEC in Valencia, we took a direction to Solar Power International 2010, which is being held in Los Angeles in sunny California. Solar Power International has been established as the only must-attend solar event in the U.S. It is the largest solar conference and expo in North America, currently by a factor of more than five, and attracts the widest range of professional attendees. The event also educates consumers through a one-night public opening in the Expo Hall. It's been very exciting. Uh, you know, we grew by, from about 900 companies last year to over 1,100 uh, exhibitors this year. It's been packed all week long. Uh, the numbers are still being settled out, but we'll certainly be at last year's numbers, if not growing by, by 10 or 15 percent. But ultimately, I think what's most important is the energy level. You know, so of the 30,000 people or so that are here, Everybody is excited about the U.S. market. Everybody is doing deals. Everybody is kind of walking away saying, I am so busy, I barely had time to come here, but I couldn't miss it. And so I think, you know, what is different from previous years is a level of excitement that is almost, um, you know, that almost can't be stopped. And that there's optimism for 2011 and beyond that the U.S. market will continue to grow. And so those who are here, I think, are really going to walk away with a very positive feeling uh, about Solar Power International, about the U.S. market, and uh, we hope they're going to join us uh, uh, next year in Dallas, Texas. The secret of success of Solar Power International is that lots of companies believe that the United States are on the way to become the leading solar PV market. Do you believe that the U.S. market will become the number one in the world, and if yes, when? The, the answer is yes. The second question, when, is most difficult, much more difficult to answer. Probably will take uh, maybe uh, three years more, uh, just as a guess. We'll see what's happened. Uh, I think uh, Obama's administration is helping a lot. Uh, they are very good subsidies and depends on the state. They are much more, uh, let's say, easy way to penetrate into the market. Uh, also, the question of uh, financing and permits is something that uh, it takes a little bit longer for some of our partners that are doing project EPCs or developers in, in United States. But we have entered already with some good uh, partners like uh, Centro Solar or App Solar. Uh, they are our customers, we are producing for them and they are uh, selling in the, in the US market with quite a successful uh, entrance. Absolutely, I believe the uh, US will be number one in the world. The US does have certain roadmaps that it has to overcome. So we have net metering challenges, we have policy cha challenges. But what we do have is millions of people that use a lot of power that need an alternative for that power. So over time I do believe the US will become number one in the world. The US market today isn't the biggest market in the world, but watch out, it's coming. The US market will be the world's biggest market make no doubt about it. The U.S. has an unbelievable solar resource. It has an unbelievable hunger for electricity. It has a growing and intense hunger for the proper environmental programs. If you put these things together, this helps. We also have a hunger for job creation. Solar brings job creation. It uses our incredibly abundant solar resource. It supplies and serves our need for energy. And we don't have a lot of other indigenous energy resources. So solar in the US is going to be the biggest market. We sometimes describe this for the people who understand the oil business as the Saudi Arabia of sunshine. This is absolutely going to be the biggest market. When will it happen? It's not going to be this year, it may not be 2011, but each year our growth, I believe, is outpacing in a sustainable way the growth in other markets around the world. Well, the US market is certainly a very attractive market. I mean, this is a market where you have a lot of sun and fundamental uh, needs are here. A lot of energy demand, a lot of sun, so the conditions are great. 
what what needs to be done now is to make sure that uh, the, the the incentives provided at the federal and at the local level are clearly available, that there is a clear view about where this market can expect to go. So it's predictability that is necessary. And also the other point is access to the grid will be very important. Uh, so if we have the right incentive environment and the right access to the grid, then I think this market can indeed become the biggest or at least one of the biggest and certainly what Dow Corning hopes for uh, being an American company. In terms of the potential, uh, we have a lot of potential in the U.S. market. Um, we also have uh, a good start with our market in California, um, and we have a lot of emerging markets throughout the United States in New Jersey, uh, in New York, uh, Pennsylvania, Hawaii, Oregon, Arizona. So we have many different markets uh, from which we can uh, draw on uh, the opportunity to become the number one market in the world. Uh, we have a lot of work to do, but certainly the potential is there. Some of industrials still see the barriers on the market, which should be overcome. In the U.S. market right now, it's, it's a very exciting market because there are many, many uh, players in the market space. But the real challenge I see is maintaining the level of professionalism and quality that has built the market as large as it has. I think a company like LG, with its well-known brand and with its sophistication in electronics, will be able to overcome a lot of the hurdles on making sure that the market grows strongly and very professionally. Uh, I don't really see any barriers and challenges in U.S. Uh, any different than I see in other markets. Uh, we have the, the same uh, inverter manufacturers, the same um, module manufacturers, and the challenge is to ultimately drive down the cost of PV so that uh, PV can become independent of incentive and become a business that is not necessarily having to be supported by uh, what governments uh, decide. And at that point in time, uh, no different than in any other country, I think we will have the ability to really grow these businesses and for them to be long-term successful businesses. Currently, the biggest barrier and challenges we see in the U.S. market is a green-eyed monster. Everybody thinks they can get in this business and get rich. It's not the way it works. It's a very small profit margin. And being a very small profit margin, you have to deal in volume. When you deal in volume, everybody gets a piece of the pie, not just one person getting rich. So what it does, it feeds and allows growth. We sell to the small integrators. It allows them to come to the factory and purchase from the factory direct. It allows them to be competitive bidding. When they're able to be competitive bidding, they're able to grow. We love seeing them grow. So to see a small integrator go from buying a 5K system to buying a 50K system to buying a 200K system, we're honored and proud to be a part. Um, I think the regulatory uncertainty is perhaps one of the biggest challenges here because there are still um, you know, uncertainty about whether some of the incentives will continue, whether the RPS standards will continue. So that I think is one of the biggest challenges. The biggest barriers, if you want to call them barriers, might just be uh, knowledge. Um, you know, just getting uh, different states on board. The U.S. doesn't have a national energy policy. It has different states with their own uh, energy policies, so it might um, be a bit of a challenge that we don't have something that's national. Um, mostly education, you know, just getting uh, the word out, and getting states to get on board with programs and things like that and offer incentives to get solar started might be some of the challenges. Solar Power International is also about networking and enjoying time together. Solar PV TV team was visiting Trina's Hollywood party and we can assure you it was worth it to be there. That's all from Solar Power International 2010. 
We hope you enjoyed our reportage and we look forward to seeing you at Solar Power International 2011. And do not forget, in the upcoming days, we will bring you fascinating interviews, which will be available at the Solar Power International Devoted channel.